Alrighty, so what I'm going to go over here real quick is how to get your code out of code.org and into a Visual Studio project so you can print a PDF real easily. So um, I've already got Visual Studio opened up here, but I can right click the icon here and just open up a new fresh Visual Studio window. And that will open up this window right here. And then I'm going to create I'm going to create a new project. And I'm just going to make it a blank solution. I want it to be JavaScript. So make sure you set the language to JavaScript. That should be good. I'm going to click Next. The name I'm going to give it, this is going to be my temp APCPT code. So my temporary... AP, let me stick an underbar right there. AP, computer, uh, create performance task code, there we go. And then um, the location. I also want to control the location of where I put this. So I'm going to go to my documents. I like to do things in an organized manner. And in there, I've got an AP CSP. I've got a unit 9. We make a whole new folder right here. This is going to be my temp, AP, underbar, CSP, underbar, Code. So I've got a temporary folder set up to hold this so that I will know where I can go find what it is I'm looking for. I'm going to select that folder, and I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Now this is going to create a Visual Studio solution. And from this Visual Studio solution, we're going to be able to then create. And if I wanted to see this, I could click on Window. Uh, Let's see, it's going to be under view. There it is, Solution Explorer. So over here, here I can see my solution that's sitting over here at the moment. Um, so, I'm going to click File, New, and I want a new file. And the file I'm looking for is a JavaScript file. And I'm going to click Open. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this JavaScript file. And it's asking me where I want to save it. And again, I'm going to navigate. To my temporary folder where I've got this solution living right now. And this is going to be my code.org let me see AP CPT code. So this is my AP CPT code. That's the name I'm going to give this file. I'll click save. Now, I've got this file created. I'm almost done. I'm now going to come back here to my project. And I'm going to copy everything. Control all. Control C. Copy it all. Come back to Visual Studio, and I'm going to control all and control V, paste it all over. So now I've overwritten what was there. All of my code is now inside of this JavaScript file. I can go through now if I wanted to, uh, take out unnecessary extra lines if I have any, um, double check all my indenting looks good. Everything copied over nice. Then, yeah, an extra space there I don't need between the functions. Another extra space. Those lines at the end I don't need. All right. So that's, that's pretty cleaned up right there. So I'm going to save my code right here. And then I'm going to go File, Print, and... It's already set here to Microsoft Print to PDF. If it's not, you know, use the drop down to set it to Print to PDF. You're going to go Portrait. Well, let me look here in the more settings. Um, layout. Let's see. Let me look at Advanced to see if it's possible for me to turn off things like headers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's not giving me much choices. So I'll go ahead and click Print. 
And this is going to open up a little file that wants to help me to store this, this code somewhere. And so I will, again, I'm going to navigate right to that file, that folder, where I'm putting this stuff. It would be nice if we had some memory here. This is going to be uh, my code for my CPT, my code for my CPT. That's going to be fine. And I'm going to click Save. Now, if I go to that folder, let me just bring this one over here. Please ignore that. Nothing to see there. And let's see my documents. And then you can see CSP, Unit 9, my temporary. And there's my, there's that PDF that just got printed. And I had to like tell it twice to open up because it wanted me to do a survey. Like I'm, right now, that's what I want to do. And this is what we're going to get here. Um, I wish there was a way that I could make this header go away. That's the one thing I want to get rid of is this, is this header. I, 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 that might create a problem with AP. So, uh, so look at that. Think about that. Um, if I can get in here and if I can edit that out, I want that header gone. But I'll work on that. When I come up with that, I'll let you know. But that's how we print it out so it looks nice and pretty. If I had to, I could screenshot each of these pages and have, you know, my, again, my code would look really nice. But I'm going to try to figure this out. I'll get back to you. But for now, this is how we print it out using Visual Studio. Thanks.